Uh, welcome to Perspectives on Islam from a non-Muslim. And today we're going to talk about who are the experts on the subject of Islam. And we'll begin with the foundational doctrine of Islam, the Quran, which most people are familiar with. These are the uh, words of Allah as transmitted to Muhammad through the angel Gabriel. And the Sunnah of Muhammad, the life and traditions. This is uh, the Sirah, the biography of Muhammad, written by Ibn Ishaq in the 8th century. And these are the Hadith, the stories and traditions of Muhammad by Bukhari. Uh, there are many collections. There are six that are considered the best collections. And of those collections, the best, uh, and the best Hadith themselves are the Sahih ones. And I always use Sahih Hadith from one of those six collections. So here we have the foundational doctrine. This is what everything is based on. The experts are Allah and Muhammad. Everything is derived from Allah and Muhammad. And by way of confirmation, we have in the, the stories and traditions, the Hadith of Muhammad here. The best talk is Allah's book, the Quran, and the best guidance is the guidance of Muhammad. I'm just giving you a few examples. There are many. Uh, from the Quran, it says, O mankind, indeed, I am the messenger of Allah to you all. And so believe in Allah and his messenger, the unlettered prophet, that you may be guided. Again, from the Quran, if you should love Allah, then follow me. There has certainly been for you in the messenger of Allah an excellent pattern for anyone whose hope is in Allah and the last day. So because it's in the Quran and the Hadith, of Muhammad, it is considered perfect and eternal. The foundational belief of Islam is that there is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is his messenger. This is called the Shahada. Now, if you believe this, you are a Muslim. If you don't believe this, you are a non-Muslim, also called a kafir. And this can be anyone, uh, people of the book, uh, the Jews, the Christians, or Hindus, uh, Baha'i, um, atheists, apostates, agnostics. If they are not Muslim, if you're not a Muslim, then you are a non-Muslim, a kafir. You do not believe this. So why does that matter? Well, it matters because that doctrine I showed you at the beginning, a lot of it is about the non-Muslim, which many people find very surprising, but actually more than half of it is about the non-Muslim. In fact, 64% of the Quran consists of Quranic arguments about the non-Muslim, uh, who they are, what they did or what they didn't do, how they should be treated or punished, 64%. That's quite substantial. And I thank Dr. Bill Warner for these statistics. He's the one who did the analysis uh, on the doctrine, and it can be replicated. And so I did do that. Uh, this is my Quran, and using uh, the same method, I came up with 63.9% of my Quran, 64%, just exactly what it says here, is actually about the non-Muslim. So what does it say? It's not good news. It says, this is from the Quran, indeed, the worst of living creatures in the sight of Allah are those who have disbelieved. So the story of Muhammad is a lengthy one. We'll get into some other time, but basically... It begins in Mecca. He started having revelations when he was 40. Uh, and after 13 years, he migrated to Medina. And the reason for the migration, the people in Mecca, it was a polytheistic society. Uh, they were used to having uh, many different um, uh, idols, gods that they worshipped. There were 360 idols in the Kaaba. And Muhammad wanted the people there to uh, follow Allah, uh, to recognize Muhammad as uh, the messenger of Allah. And there was a lot of resistance, a lot of discontent. Um, so uh, Muhammad migrated with his followers to Medina. Um, it's about 200 miles away. There were three tribes of Jews there that Muhammad thought would accept him, but they did not accept him as prophet. And here's the migration. But when he got to Medina, 
uh, he adopted some new tactics. He became a politician and a jihadi. And battles ensued. It began with robbing caravans. But uh, it went from 150 followers in 10 years to 100,000. And we extrapolate that number because one of the later battles cited uh, 10,000 warriors or jihadis. And it takes a population of about 100,000 to have uh, 10% of the population fighting because there's old people, children, women, not everyone can fight. And it's estimated 10%. So if you have 10,000 warriors, uh, you have a population of about 100,000. So that is a lot of followers in the next 10 years. And uh, how did that happen? Well, jihad. Here we have the battles. And this is after the migration to Medina. In the Sira, the biography of Muhammad, I showed you at the beginning by Ibn Ishaq. It lists 65 battles, 27 of which Muhammad took part in personally and 38 expeditions. If you go to uh, Wikipedia or some other sources, you'll find more battles, 95. Using the lower number, 65, that averages out to about uh, one battle every six and a half weeks for the, the last nine years of Muhammad's life. And, um, and as uh, his influence expanded across the Arabian Peninsula, he said, I will expel the Jews and Christians from the Arabian Peninsula and will not leave any but Muslim. This is from a uh, Sahih Hadith of Muslim. And another one. Um, this is about how very important jihad is in the Islamic doctrine. It's often cited as being the best deed. And to die as a martyr in jihad is to go to paradise. Here's an example from the Hadith, uh, the stories and traditions about Muhammad. A man came to Allah's messenger and said, instruct me as to such a deed as equals jihad in reward. He replied, Muhammad replied, I do not find such a deed. So it wasn't always jihad as the best deed. Sometimes it was honoring your mother and father, but it was always in the top three. Jihad is extolled as, as one of the very best deeds uh, in Islam. So this is important to know that so much of the doctrine is about the non-Muslim. It's about me and, uh, and what it says. So uh, I recommend studying the doctrine and for more information and sources, look in the description below the video. Uh, thank you very much for your attention.